Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening whenever and wherever you are watching this video from. So we have this question. Let's answer it together. Okay, so this question is a first term of a cone, a first term of a cone and um, we are asked to find the volume and just the six marks. Now, how do you find the volume here? Six marks. You have a lot of methods of finding volumes. Okay. Now, the method that I'm going to use here um, is this. This method of first finding the height. Okay. Because for you to get six marks, it's not just writing the formula down, substitute, solve. You can be given six marks. So, the first thing you are expected to calculate the height of a smaller cone okay, and the height of a larger cone. That's when you can find what you can calculate volume. So what do you do? Okay. So listen. This is the radius of a larger cone. Okay. And this is the radius of a what? Of a smaller cone. Then where is the height? The height of a larger cone, we don't know. So it's the same as here you have something like this. Okay, you have a cone like this, and then it was is just cut here. Okay, cut, and this this radius is uh, eight centimeters, and then this one is what three centimeters. Then instead of give instead of being given the height of a full cone, which is a larger cone, you are given the height of a frustum, height of a frustum, which is ten centimeters. Okay, ten centimeters. So what you need to do is, you know, you should have the height of a larger cone, which is the full cone, and the height of a smaller cone here, which is the small letter H. So we're going to use proportions to find the height of a smaller cone. How do you do exact that? Listen, first find the, uh, use the height of a larger cone, which is the, the height of a larger cone is what? 10 plus the height of a smaller cone. So it's going to be we're going to write 10 plus small letter h over over this is what is here over the height of a smaller cone which is just h is equals to since here we've started with the, the height of a larger cone start with the height the radius of a larger cone which is 8 over radius of a smaller cone which is 3. Listen, sometimes here you may be given diameter here. And if we are given diameter as 6 here, here let's say 16, you need to find the half of 8 here, half of 6, which is 3, half of 16, which is 8. Okay? So since we are given radius, no problem. We can just use the way um, it is here. Then cross multiply. So h times 8 is 80h. Like this is equals to, this 3 will be multiplied by 10 plus h okay then then it will be 8h is equals to 3 times 10 is 30 plus 3 times h is 3h then collect like terms 8h this this is positive 3 and becomes minus 3 uh, 3h is equals to 30 8 minus 3 is 5h is equals to 30 over 5 over 5 okay height of a smaller cone therefore is 5 into 36 okay so it will be 60 centimeters now what is the height of a larger cone larger cone will be capital letter h is equals to 10 plus small letter h which is the 6 here and the height is the 16 centimeters Having this in mind, we can find the volume of a what? Of a first term. This is where the six marks is coming from. Okay? So, volume, what's the formula for calculating volume of first term? Volume is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Now, you have a lot of formulas here for, for formulae for calculating height, uh, volume, sorry, volume of the first term. Now, I want to get it simple and straight, you to get it simple and straightforward. 
this formula. Just know the original formula and you are good to go. Okay? You are good to go. So what you're going to do, you're going to say volume of the larger cone, which is 1 over 3 uh, pi, let's use capital R squared, then capital H, minus the volume of the smaller cone, which is 1 over 3, the same formula. Pi, and now you are going to use small letter R here, and small letter H, signifying what is small, smaller, the smaller cone. Okay? Something just very simple. Don't get confused in the exam. Okay? So, volume is equal to, it's just a matter of who? Substituting. So, 1 over 3, what is pi, according to the question here, is 3.14, 3.142. Simple. So we're going to say 3.142. Then what is the radius of the larger cone? 8. And it will be 80 squared. Multiplied by what? Multiplied by height of the larger cone, 60. 16. Okay? Something like this. Minus 1 over 3 times 3.142 times radius of the smaller cone, which is 3. So it will be 3 squared. Then height of a smaller cone, you see, which is what? 6 here. So it will be 6. Then just punch your calculator. I mean, punch this in your calculator and it will be 1, 1 over 3 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 8 squared multiplied by 8 squared. Multiplied by 16. So this is going, this is giving me, this is, this is the answer it's giving me. Okay. 1072.469333 minus, you do the same on the other side. Okay. 1 over 3 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 3 squared multiplied by 6. And this is giving me 56.5416. Then, subtract this. Okay? So, I'm going to say 1072 1072.46 Nine three 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 threes minus five fifty six point. This is fifty six fifty six point five five four one six. Okay, this is giving me one thousand fifteen point nine two seven seven three three. Now the final answer here, the final answer, we need to, to write it in what? Three significant figures. So you count one, two, three. Okay? And it will be one, zero. This is greater than, this is five. So we're going to add one to this one. This becomes two. And the five becomes zero. And this is centimeters. And we are calculating volume. So it will be cubic centimeters. And this is the answer. This is how you get six marks. Okay, you can just write the formula direct without finding the height here and you expect to get six marks. No. Okay, so this is how it's done.